by January 17, 1945, patrols from the 1st and 3rd Armies met. The greatest pitched battle of the Western Front was finished. The Battle of the Bulge was over. And now, the 3rd Army plowed on towards the Siegfried Line. The Germans were fighting a clever rear guard action using every trick they knew and conserving their strength to inflict maximum effect from hard-hitting pockets. It was the mission of the tank-mounted forward observer moving with our frontline elements to search out these pockets and to direct the massed firepower of our forces against these strongholds. The job of the forward observer was nasty, bloody, often fatal. Our story is about such a field observation unit and the valiant Sherman tank called Dehydrated Hell. to find those 88s. Now he knows. The lieutenant. Where's the lieutenant? He didn't get out. Let's go get him. Don't be crazy. It'll blow any minute. When are we going to get a tank? When are we going to see some action? So you own action. So you got an ace, bet it, you'll get action. Ace, king, bets four. I mean it. I'm tired of sitting in this crummy town. Me too. Albert's right. I hope we get moving. You'll get moving and you'll get action. What I want to know is when we get a lieutenant. Ace is bet. Ace is bet five. I've had enough. I'm out. The new lieutenant, that's who I want to see. Probably some 90-day wonder who want to do it all by the book. So you're a mind reader now? Not a mind reader, Banks. It's just a big fat hunch. Could you tell me in what direction I'm likely to find Major Thompson? Uh, you're likely to find him in that direction, sir. Which way, soldier? That way, sir. you tell me in what direction I'm likely to find Major Thompson? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. That's the kind of joker we're going to get. Senator Morrison, reporting his order, sir. Glad to have you, Morrison. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. We're going to start moving out pretty soon. I'm going to need every forward observer we can get. Corporal? 
Did you hear from the tank depot in Nancy yet? Oh, yes, sir. They sent out a Sherman two days ago. I can't introduce you to your new tank, but I can to your crew. Have Sergeant Banks and Corporal Morton come in. Yes, sir. Look at that traffic. I'm telling you, we're going to be moving soon. Uh, and you two eager beavers will get all that action you've been yelling about. Hey, Banks, Morton, what do you want? The old man wants to see you guys. You must have a rough problem. We solve all the tough ones. Sergeant Banks, I'd like you to meet your new officer. These boys have had four tanks shot from under them, but don't take that wrong. They're good tankers. I've met the corporal. He's very talented. Quite the comedian. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was that, Lieutenant? Nothing, sir. What do you think, Morton? Oh, she'll do. Oil pressure was a little low, but I think I got it fixed. Boy, she looks mean. And thick, like you're hit. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Gentlemen, the holiday is over. We move out at 0500 in the morning. Our mission, simply, find the 6th Panzer Division. Intelligence insists it's in the vicinity of Marletta Road. Here. If it is, it isn't showing its hand, and that's the rub. There's a chance they might be trying to suck us into a trap. The resistance along our point of advance has been weak. Maybe they want us to continue our advance until we become overextended. We'll penetrate the center of the line here with one FO tank. They'll proceed along the main road to the town. Another FO tank team on the left flank here, and another one on the right. Their mission? Find the enemy concentrations and report them back to here. When we have this information, we'll be in business. And the story of Panza Panza, who has the 6th Panzer Division, will be at an end. That will be all, gentlemen. Uh, Lieutenant Barry. Yes, sir. I'm sorry to give you such a tough one to start with. Probing that road is going to be really rough, but it's important. We'll make it, sir. And, uh, Lieutenant. Yes, sir? I wouldn't worry about Morton. Lieutenant Werner was a good man, a fine officer. Morton, he's honest and loyal. I've got a feeling you'll make his list the hard way. Thanks, Major. Get the letter straight. Very pretty and even. Wait a minute. What about the lieutenant? Is it necessary? I'm commander of this tank. Put his name on. Take your new job kind of serious, ain't you, Banks? Come on, Martin. But if he isn't Lieutenant Warner, give him a break, will you? Okay, okay, tank commander Banks. It's M-O-R-R-I-S-O-N. Yeah, well, that'll do. That's how it works, Morton. 
Gentlemen, we're in business. We're moving out. Have it slow. We're moving out. Stopping for, Morton. I can't see around corners in the Germans know it, and sir, they got a nasty habit of zeroing corners in. I'm gonna take a look, see. That way, only I get hurt. We save the taxpayers a lot of money, sir. Only as a chaplain of pay night. Maybe a German or two in the buildings, but no heavy stuff. The old man said we'd be playing a game of hide and seek. Charlie Two, Charlie Two, this is Abel Fox Four. Over. Marshal on, sir. Where is he now? Roger, Abel Fox Four. Wait. He is in the town, sir. No sign of Germans. This is screwy. The FO tanks on both flanks have contacted the enemy but right smack in the middle of the line, square in the center of the town, that's ideal for rear guard action, there's nothing. Maybe they're getting ready to evacuate all along the line. Maybe. Maybe they're saying, come on, fellas, come on into this nice town. We move in with everything we've got. And boom! We find the 6th Panzer Division the hard way. Here, here, and here. Mousetrap? Mm-hmm. Tell Morrison to dig in on the far edge of the town. Post sentinels and report on his activity throughout the night. Yes, sir. I've got an idea they want us in this town real bad. I'll talk to Morrison. Fox 4, this is Charlie 26. Move up to the last house in the town. It's getting dark. I don't think you'll be bothered right now. I think you're going to get bit tomorrow morning. If they probe into your town on your road with any heavy weapons or tanks, I want you to report it, then engage it. Understand? That's what I said. Make as much racket, inflict as much damage as you possibly can, but keep dug in and keep shooting. I want them to think you're the point tank, that are heavy forces in the town. If they fall for it, they'll move into the area in strength. And if you can hold them off, we'll bottle them up after you contact them. You got it? Good luck. Out. Sort of pulling a switch on their game? Yeah. If you're right, it'll be great for everybody except Morrison. That's the general idea, unfortunately.
all clear upstairs. I don't get it, sir. Why are we here? This is the last house in town. We're naked as newborn babes, no protection. The old man thinks the enemy's trying to lure a concentration of our troops into town. We're to dig in here. And if the old man's right, and they hit us in the morning with some heavy stuff and in force, we're to make a big show of holding them off. Do anything to make them think that we're an advanced unit with a ton of troops behind us. Understand? What are we playing games for? If we get the point across, the old man will come in from both flanks and cut them off. Also, from here, we can direct artillery fire and knock them for a loop. Now, he didn't happen to mention what they'd be doing to us, did he? Move everything upstairs. If we have to make a lot of noise, let's do it from those windows. And we'll post two guards. One at the center window guarding the road of approach. The other at the staircase guarding the door downstairs. It's 2300 now. They'll probably hit us about dawn at 0700. I'll take the window guard myself. You split this position on the staircase between the four of you. Let's go. Alberts, Long, get upstairs. you feel? It's almost dawn. We'll wake the others in about ten minutes. Yes, sir. Looks like the old man was right. They're coming. About 150 men and at least two tanks. I don't know what Lieutenant Werner would have told you in a situation like this. But all I can say is, good luck and God be with you. Banks, you Morton and Long, you cover the windows. Albus and I will go to the tank. He'll operate the radio and let them know we're here. I'll make like a cruise firing from it. We've got two jobs. Alert headquarters and keep the Germans occupied. Alberts! Give Banks the grease gun and follow me. Get the radio. I'll go find out. You get back with the men. You'll never make it. They've got us zeroed in. Get back with the men. Wasn't kidding. There must be a hundred of them.
They're going to try and make it through the doorway. I'm going to go get them. I'm telling you! Oh, combat I wanted, huh? Charlie 2, Charlie 2, this is Able Fox 4, over. Position established. 150 infantrymen and two tanks closed in at 0710. Our tank is out. We're holding them off, but we'll have to move back unless... Able Fox 4, this is Charlie 26. We've got to get help to them. Our guest was right. They're moving into that town in depth with tanks. We'll turn both flanks towards the road, in towards the house. Whose company's in reserve? Captain Taylor's reinforced tank infantry team, sir. Get them up to that town on the double. Yes, sir. When you reestablish contact, tell them relief's on the way. Also get artillery direction. Able Fox 4, this is Charlie 2. <laughs> Where's Banks? Where's the lieutenant's now? But these types are getting our range. Here I am. And Albert's is down there. Another lieutenant. He's in the tank. We're not through walkie-talkie. Real hero. How long does it take to get a walkie-talkie? What do you mean? I mean he's taking a powder. Him and his good walking. God bless you. We got a simple choice. Fight or quit. Nobody's going to blame us if we throw in the towel. But I leave it to you guys. That ain't... That ain't my idea of quitting. But I think we got a better chance in the ditch than up here. Good. Get all your stuff. You guys cover me while I get the lieutenant. He's not having an easy time either. We're lost if he hasn't made radio contact. Long, stay here. I'm going after those tanks. Abbott, come with me. Cover me. I'm going to try to lob a grenade for the hatch. <laughs> Try and take that second thing from behind. Five zero fire for effect. Got a marshal, sir. Anything I can do to help you? The artillery's taking care of that, Morton. Nice work, Banks. Thank you, sir. So it's gonna be out of France on the boat to Hoboken by now. My mistake, Tank Commander Banks. For the action you have just witnessed, Thomas Banks received from a grateful nation the Silver Star. <laughs>